Hi, it's Monique and welcome back to my channel, Pretty Salad Life. Today, I'm going to be participating in the fall fragrance uh, tag. It's called Secrets of a Content Creator Fall Fragrance Tag. Um, so before I get started, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, Pretty Salad Life. And if you aren't a subscriber, I hope that after seeing this video, you will be inspired to become a subscriber. So thank you. So first of all, shout out to Simply Shaughnessy. I saw her video um, just yesterday and I decided to participate in this fun challenge. So no one actually tagged me, but I kind of tagged myself. And so um, there are 11 questions. And if you've been with me for a little while, some of these answers you may already know because I've talked about them in previous videos. Um, and like I said, there are 11 questions. I just want to do something fun and different. Um, and I have my handy dandy water that I'm probably going to take a sip of now because I'm going to be doing lots of talking. So um, without further ado, here we go. Question number one, how long have you been recording YouTube videos and when did you start your channel? So my channel started May 3rd, 2023. So just about a little bit over a year, I've been recording YouTube. And so, <clears throat> like I said in the previous video, my channel really was supposed to be a vegan cooking channel. Um, but I couldn't get the angles right on the camera in my kitchen. It was just a lot of, you know, a lot of hesitation there. So I was watching... Um, an influence, her, her name is Ashley, and she was giving tips about different things, but one of the tips she gave was um, just start, just start your channel. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, if you have some ideas, just start. And so she was one of the people who influenced me just to get started, Get use what you have and just get started. So I was thinking, I said, okay, you know, I love to cook. What else do I really love? And I have a, some knowledge about, and it was fragrance. So that's what started um, this channel, which um, is called, of course, Pretty Salad Life. And people always ask me the meaning behind the name Pretty Salad Life. And so you would think because it was a vegan cooking channel it was about, you know, salad, but that's not really it. I chose the name because um, life is like a salad. It's a lot of different things you can put in a salad. Some things come, some things go. It's a mixture of things. So that's where I got the name Pretty Salad Life. Um, and so in case you're wondering. Okay, question number two. Do you record on an iPhone or a camera? I use an iPhone. So I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and that's where I record my videos. Um, I don't have a camera. I am not really tech savvy. And so that's the reason why, like I said in the previous previous question, it you know, I had some hesitation about recording in my kitchen because the angles and all of this. And so I record on my phone and I'm I'm comfortable doing that. Do I want to use a camera? Because I've I follow some influencers and you know in the credits they have the camera that they use. And I've looked up the camera and I've even looked at YouTube videos. And I just don't think I'm there yet. <laughs> um I feel good recording on my phone. And so, you know, but I do want to learn, you know, about you know, expanding, you know, the technology that I use to create my content. And so eventually I will get there, but I'm not there yet. So my iPhone 15 does just fine. All right, let's see. Question number three, do you record in HD or 4K? I record in HD. Um, just like I said, I'm just, I'm just learning how to record. So I've tried different methods, but lately it's been in HD. And I think it works out just fine. So um, do you plan your content? Yes, sometimes I do. Um, or sometimes like if I do a shopping haul, 
I get so excited. I just want to share with you guys. So sometimes like, you know, um, if it's like something like a latest perfume that I may have, because a lot of times I don't have the latest thing. <laughs> so you guys know, I've said this before. Sometimes I'm late to the party. So I'm not always, you know, in the first, you know, round of talking about this new fragrance. I'm usually like real late to the party. Um, so most of the time I really don't plan the content. Um, if it's something that I'm excited about that I purchase, if it just happens to be like, I, you know, I follow the trends and what's the latest, you know, I may go out and get something, um, that I heard about like wild Madagascar vanilla. I remember I ran out and got that. I ran out and got the vanilla, um, what was it? It was something recent. You know, when you shop so much, you don't even know what you bought. But Paw Reacts talked about this vanilla from Victoria's Secret. I went out and got that and I talked about that. So sometimes I'm, you know, current with it. And then sometimes I'm late to the party. So, um, but I do like to, I don't do a script because that was not my vision for my channel. I kind of just want to be natural, you know what I mean? So, but sometimes I do have to make note of talking points because I'm a talker. I'm kind of like this free thinker. And so sometimes I can get off track easily. So, so yeah. All right. Question number five, do I batch record? Um, I have batch recorded the most, and I don't know if you call it a batch because <laughs> I think the most I've recorded like in a day was like maybe three videos. So, and I've only done that like maybe two times. Um, my goal is to batch record because sometimes I have more energy than others. And so for me, I want to of course have something to talk about. And for two, I want to have the energy. It's a lot that goes into, you know, you know, I got to make sure my hair is done. <laughs> not not made up done, but um, sometimes my hair is looking pretty wild. And sometimes you probably see my hair looking pretty wild, but you know, like that comes into a factor. And then if I have the energy, the time, all of those things. Um, but the, the answer to the question is that I have batch recorded several times, but it's not a, a regular practice of mine to batch record. Um, but I would like to get there one day, so... Um, let's see. Do I record videos in one take? Most of the time I do. I'm not a big time editor only because I don't know how to edit. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm not that, you know, edit savvy. I do know how to, I'll put it like this. I've never cut and paste. So what you see is what you see. It's never like a chunk here and I'm gone. And then I report. You've never, I've never done that because for one, I don't know how to do that. Now, could I learn? I'm very smart. I could learn how to do that. But um, yeah, most of them are one take. And that's the reason why I have to make sure, you know, like, okay, you know, I'm flowing. Um, the things that have not made them one take is if I look and I see lipstick on my teeth, that's like something. Or if I say, I don't know something like happy Sunday and it's actually Monday, you know, like something like that. But, um, most of the time it's one take. Um, that's my goal. When I hear other, well, not other influence, but when I hear other people talk about how they spend hours editing, I've never done that because I really don't edit. And so, yeah. All right. Number seven, how long does it take you to edit a video? I just answered that. I really don't edit. Um, like I said, I want my channel to be kind of organic and just, you know, me. So there are times that I've made mistakes. I may have, um, coughed, you know, like some people will not even accept a cough on the video. They'll like say, oh, we got to scratch that. But me, you guys know, sometimes I get a little, you know, I need my water, but that's okay. Um, so I really don't spend any time editing because I don't edit. So, all right. Question number eight. Do, am I a full-time creator or do I work full-time? I work full-time. And then the second part of that question is, 
Do I work from home or do I work on the road? Um, so actually, I don't work from home. I work on the road. I travel for my job, but um, and I'm in the healthcare industry. So I'll just say that. So, um, no, so I don't work from home, although some days I can work from home, um, you know, if I'm not face to face with someone, but most of the time I'm on the road traveling, um, for my job. So thank you. Do I want to, I'll answer this part. Do I aspire to be a full-time creator? Um, that would be great if, you know, it's not something I'm like, oh, I want to be a full-time creator. That's not it for me. I really do this because it's fun. I love to talk. I love to communicate with people. That's why I always ask you guys for like, what's your sin of the day? I really, I am asking because I really want to know. Um, I love the feedback. I love like, I love the human connection of it all. Um, And so... Would I want to be a full-time creator? It's not something like in, in the forefront of my mind that, oh, I want to quit my job because I love what I do. I love my job. Um, so that one, if you know, if it happens, like when I retire, um, you know, if I would like to do it full-time, perhaps, but, you know, I don't aspire to be like a, a content creator full-time at this time. I'll put it like that. It, I know I went around the block with that one. All right. So question number nine is, have you ever been recognized by a viewer or subscriber, a stranger? No, I haven't. <laughs> it's 635 of you as of today. So no, but I have met people who have commented on my videos who were either, because, you know, I'm born and raised in Buffalo, New York. So I'm not in New York now, but I have been people who were from Buffalo. I have people who are Buffalo Bills fans, just like I am. I have seen comments from people who are USC Gamecock fans, like I am. So those kind of things, but never in person. No one has ever said, oh, was that uh, you pretty salad? Like, no, that has never happened to me. So one day maybe but not now so all right so question number 10 says is there a perfume that everyone loves that you hate or dislike and then the second half of that is there a perfume that you love that everyone dislikes so the first part of that question is there a perfume that everyone loves that i dislike yeah there's two of them unfortunately um and i've tried them both and I just don't, it's just not for me. One of them is Killian, Love Don't Be Shy. I know it's like, what? You know, that's really a popular one. It's it's a note in there. It's a little, you know how like you have like, you ever had like a metallic taste in your mouth? It's something in that perfume that has that, gives me that same kind of vibe. And then the other one is, this is a big one, Donna Born and Roma. They're just not for me. I don't like them. Um, I've had, you know, samples of them both. I don't, of course, I don't have a full size. And they're just not for me. I, I don't get the hype, but, you know, everyone's nose is different. So, but they just don't work for me. It's a note in both of them that it's just, it just doesn't sit well with me. So, now, is there a perfume that I love that people don't love? That one, I can't answer because I really don't know because, or fragrance, I don't know. Primarily, I'm a vanilla girl, so I don't know. I don't think there's anything that I've ever talked about where people were like, oh, I just don't like that. So that one, I don't know. All right, the last question. If you could go back and give your... Self, oh wait, hold on. Let me read my own writing. Sorry. If you could go back and give yourself some advice, what would it be? And I guess this is pertaining to starting my channel. I guess it would be, um, becoming more a little tech savvy, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm happy I started my channel. Um, but like even the thumbnail, even today, the thumbnail, how I create my thumbnail is kind of, 
I don't know if you guys want to call it primitive or what, but my thumbnails, you know, I see people self-imposed in something. I just don't, you know, like I read, you know, I saw videos on how to use Canva and this and that, and I just haven't grasped it yet. So I make my thumbnails using um, pic collage, and that's how I do my thumbnails. So I wish I knew a little bit more of the little you know, tips and tricks and how to do a, a, you know, a different type of thumbnail. But my thumbnails, you know, I like my thumbnails, but I wish I knew how to like superimpose an image. And I wish I knew how to, you know how people say, check out my last video. And then the video appears up here. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. And so, or they say, you know, come, you know, below and there is the video there. It's like, mm. So, I mean, I guess, you know, I just need to take the time and, you know, get pointed in the right direction because I would like to do those things. And so, um, and kind of have graphics and all of that stuff. Um, yeah. So those are the things, yeah, I aspire to do those kind of things. So, yeah. So that's what I wish that I knew. I wish I had more of that kind of, you know, glitzy tech knowledge, you know, so yeah, to enhance my videos. So, but yeah, that's it. Those are the 11 questions. Um, thank you, Simply Shaughnessy, Shaughnessy, for the inspiration for this. So again, this is um, Secrets of a Content Creator Fall Fragrance Tag. Um, I encourage you. Like I said, no one tagged me. I saw her video and, you know, she said she just decided to do it. Um, and I just decided to do it. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So now it's on you. Um, comment below. Let me know what you think. I hope that you subscribe to my channel. I hope you share this video. I hope that, um, and let me know if you do a video like this, you know, let me know in the comments so I can watch your video. And so we can just keep this party going. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.